A supersonic aircraft is an aircraft able to fly faster than the speed of sound Mach number 1. Supersonic aircraft were developed in the second half of the 20th century and have been used almost entirely for research and military purposes. Only two, Concorde and the Tupolev Tu-144, ever entered service for civil use as airliners. Fighter jets are the most common example of supersonic aircraft. The aerodynamics of supersonic flight is called compressible flow because of the compression physics associated with the shock waves or sonic boom created by any object traveling faster than sound. Aircraft flying at speeds above Mach 5 are often referred to as hypersonic aircraft. Topic: History The first aircraft to fly supersonically in level flight was the American Bell X-1 experimental plane which was powered by a 6,000-pound thrust rocket powered by liquid oxygen and ethyl alcohol. The majority of supersonic aircraft have been military or experimental aircraft. In the 1960s and 70s, many design studies for supersonic airliners were done and eventually two types entered service, the Anglo-French Concorde and the Russian Tupolev Tu-144. However political, environmental and economic obstacles and one fatal Concorde crash prevented them from being used to their full commercial potential. Topic. Design principles Supersonic flight brings with it substantial technical challenges, as the aerodynamics of supersonic flight are dramatically different from those of subsonic flight i.e., flight at speeds slower than that of sound. In particular, aerodynamic drag rises sharply as the aircraft passes the transonic regime, requiring much greater engine power and more streamlined airframes. <laughs> <laughs> Wings To keep drag low, wingspan must be limited, which also reduces the aerodynamic efficiency when flying slowly. Since a supersonic aircraft must take off and land at a relatively slow speed, its aerodynamic design must be a compromise between the requirements for both ends of the speed range. One approach to resolving this compromise is the use of a variable geometry wing, commonly known as the swing wing, which spreads wide for low speed flight and then sweeps sharply, usually backwards, for supersonic flight. However, swinging affects the longitudinal trim of the aircraft and the swinging mechanism adds weight and cost. Use of a delta wing, such as those used on the aerospatial back Concorde generates a vortex which energizes the flow on the upper surface of the wing at high speeds and attack angles, delaying flow separation, and giving the aircraft a very high stall angle. It also solves the issue of fluid compressibility at transonic and supersonic speeds. However, it is, of course, inefficient at lower speeds due to the requirement of a high angle of attack, and therefore need the use of flaps. <laughs> Heating Another problem is the heat generated by friction as the air flows over the aircraft. Most supersonic designs use aluminium alloys such as duralumin, which are cheap and easy to work but lose their strength quickly at high temperatures. This limits maximum speed to around Mach 2.2. Most supersonic aircraft, including many military fighter aircraft, are designed to spend most of their flight at subsonic speeds, and only to exceed the speed of sound for short periods such as when intercepting an enemy aircraft. 
A smaller number, such as the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance aircraft and the Concorde supersonic airliner, have been designed to cruise continuously at speeds above the speed of sound, and with these designs the problems of supersonic flight are more severe. Topic engines Some early supersonic aircraft, including the first, relied on rocket power to provide the necessary thrust, although rockets burn a lot of fuel and so flight times were short. Early turbojets were more fuel efficient but did not have enough thrust and some experimental aircraft were fitted with both a turbojet for low-speed flight and a rocket engine for supersonic flight. The invention of the afterburner, in which extra fuel is burned in the jet exhaust, made these mixed power plant types obsolete. The turbofan engine passes additional cold air around the engine core, further increasing its fuel efficiency, and supersonic aircraft today are powered by turbofans fitted with afterburners. Supersonic aircraft usually use low bypass turbofans as they have acceptable efficiency below the speed of sound as well as above, or if supercruise is needed, turbojet engines may be desirable as they give less nacelle drag at supersonic speeds. The Pratt and Whitney J 58 engines of the Lockheed SR 71 Blackbird operated in two ways taking off and landing as turbojets with no bypass, but bypassing some of the compressor air to the afterburner at higher speeds. This allowed the Blackbird to fly at over Mach 3, faster than any other production aircraft. The heating effect of air friction at these speeds meant that a special fuel had to be developed which did not break down in the heat and clogged the fuel pipes on its way to the burner. Another high-speed power plant is the ramjet. This needs to be flying fairly fast before it will work at all. <laughs> Topic. Transonic flight. Airflow can speed up or slow down locally at different points over an aircraft. In the region around Mach 1, some areas may experience supersonic flow while others are subsonic. This regime is called transonic flight. As the aircraft speed changes, pressure waves will form or move around. This can affect the trim, stability and controllability of the aircraft, and the designer needs to ensure that these effects are taken into account at all speeds. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hypersonic flight. Flight at speeds above about Mach 5 is often referred to as hypersonic. In this region the problems of drag and heating are even more acute. It is difficult to make materials which can stand the forces and temperatures generated by air resistance at these speeds, and hypersonic flight for any significant length of time has not yet been achieved. <laughs> Sonic boom A sonic boom is the sound associated with the shock waves created whenever an object traveling through the air travels faster than the speed of sound. Sonic booms generate significant amounts of sound energy, sounding similar to an explosion or a thunderclap to the human ear. The crack of a supersonic bullet passing overhead or the crack of a bullwhip are examples of a sonic boom in miniature. Sonic booms due to large supersonic aircraft can be particularly loud and startling, tend to awaken people, and may cause minor damage to some structures. They led to prohibition of routine supersonic flight over land. Although they cannot be completely prevented, research suggests that with careful shaping of the vehicle the nuisance due to them may be reduced to the point that overland supersonic flight may become a practical option. <laughs> <laughs> supersonic transports A supersonic transport SST is a civil aircraft designed to transport passengers at speeds greater than the speed of sound. 
The only supersonic civilian aircraft to see service were the Soviet-produced Tupolev Tu-144 which first flew in 1968 and was retired in 1997, and the Franco-British-produced Concorde, which first flew in 1969 and remained in service until 2003. Since 2003, there have been no supersonic civilian aircraft in service. A key feature of these designs is the ability to maintain supersonic crews for long periods, so low drag is essential to limit fuel consumption to a practical and economic level. As a consequence, these airframes are highly streamlined and the wings have a very short span. The requirement for low speeds when taking off and landing is met by using vortex lift. As the aircraft slows, lift must be restored by raising the nose to increase the angle of attack of the wing. The sharply swept leading edge causes the air to twist as it flows over the wing, speeding up the airflow locally and maintaining lift. Other SST projects have included British – Bristol Type 223 French – Sud Aviation Super Caravelle U.S. – Convair Model 58-9 Boeing 2707, Lockheed L-2000, Douglas 2229, Psi Quiet Supersonic Transport, High Speed Civil Transport USSR, Tupolev Tu-244, Tupolev Tu-444 Russian-American, Sukhoi Gulfstream S-21 <laughs> Supersonic business jet Supersonic business jets SSBJ are a proposed class of small supersonic aircraft. None have yet flown. Typically intended to transport about 10 passengers, SSBJs are about the same size as traditional subsonic business jets. Projects for both large-scale and business jet see lower passenger supersonic and hypersonic airliners Arian SBJ, Spike S-512, Hypermax Sonicstar, Next Generation Supersonic Transport, Tupolev Tu-444, Gulfstream 1054, LAPCAT, Reaction Engines A-2, Zero Emission Hypersonic Transport, Spaceliner, etc. were proposed and now are under development. Development. Topic: Supersonic strategic bombers. A strategic bomber must carry a large bomb load over long distances. Consequently, it is a large aircraft, typically with an empty weight exceeding 25,000 kg. Some have also been designed for related roles such as strategic reconnaissance and anti-shipping strike. Typically the aircraft will cruise subsonically for most of its flight to conserve fuel, before accelerating to supersonic speed for its bombing run. Few supersonic strategic bombers have entered service. The earliest type, the Convair B-58 Hustler, first flew in 1956 and the most recent, the Rockwell B-1B Lancer, in 1983. Although this and a few other types are still in service today, none remains in production. Other types to have flown include Dassault Mirage IV 1959, Tupolev 222 1959, Myasishchev M50 1959 Back TSR2 1964 North American XB70 Valkyrie 1964 Tupolev 222M 1969 General Dynamics FB111A 1969 Sukhoi T4 1972 Tupolev Tu 160, 1981. Rockwell B1B Lancer, 1986. Out of these, only the 222, 222M, FB111A, B1B, and Tu 160 entered production. 
A next-generation stealthy supersonic strategic bomber is being planned in United States under the 2037 Bomber Project. Topic: <laughs> Supersonic Strategic Reconnaissance. Some supersonic strategic bombers, such as the Sukhoi T-4 are also capable of the reconnaissance role, although the Sukhoi remained a prototype. The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird was specifically designed for the role, and was a larger development of the Lockheed A-12 reconnaissance aircraft which first flew in 1962. Supersonic fighter, attack jets Supersonic fighters and related aircraft are sometimes called fast jets. They make up the overwhelming majority of supersonic aircraft and some, such as the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-21, Lockheed F-104 Starfighter and Dassault Mirage III, have been produced in large numbers. Many military supersonic fighters and similar aircraft of fourth and fifth generations are under development in several countries, including Russia, China, Japan, South Korea, India, Iran and the United States. <laughs> United States Douglas F-4D Skyray 1951 North American F-100 Super Sabre 1953 Convair F-102 Delta Dagger 1953 Grumman F-11 Tiger 1954 McDonnell F-101 Voodoo 1954 Lockheed F-104 Starfighter 1954 Republic F-105 Thunderchief 1955 Vought F-8 Crusader 1955 Convair F-106 Delta Dart 1956 Douglas F-5D Skylancer 1956 Grumman F-11F1F Super Tiger 1956 North American F-107 1956 North American A-5 Vigilante 1958 McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II 1958 Vortex F-8U3 Crusader III 1958 Northrop F-5A, B Freedom Fighter 1959. Lockheed YF-12 1963. General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark 1964. General Dynamics Grumman F-111B 1965. Grumman F-14 Tomcat 1970. McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle 1972 Northrop F-5E, F-Tiger II 1972 Northrop YF-17 1974 General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon 1974 McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet 1978 Northrop F-20 Tigershark 1982 Vought YA-7F 1989 Lockheed YF-22 1990 Northrop YF-23 1990 Boeing F-A-180 F Super Hornet 1995 Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor 1997 Lockheed Martin the 10th 35 2000 Boeing X32 2000 Lockheed Martin F35 Lightning II 2006 Topic <inaudible> Soviet Union Russia Mikian Gurevich MiG19 1953 
Mikian Gurevich MiG-21 Sukhoi Su-7 Sukhoi Su-9 Sukhoi Su-11 Yakovlev Yak-28 Yakovlev Yak-27 Tupolev Tu-28 Sukhoi Su-15 Mikian Gurevich MiG-25 Sukhoi Su-17 Sukhoi Su-24 Mikian Gurevich MiG-23 Mikian MiG-27 Yakovlev Yak-38 Mikian MiG-31 Sukhoi Su-27 Mikian Gurevich MiG-29 Sukhoi Su-33 Yakovlev Yak-141 Sukhoi Su-30 Sukhoi Su-34 Sukhoi Su-37 Sukhoi Su-47 Mikoyan Project 1. 44 Mikoyan MiG-35 Sukhoi Su-35 Sukhoi Su-57 Topic: Sweden. Saab 32 Lansen 1952. Saab 35 Draken 1955. Saab 37 Vigan 1967. Saab Jazz 39 Gripen 1988. Topic: United Kingdom. English Electric Lightning 1954 British Aerospace EAP 1986 Topic France Nord 1500 Griffin 2 1950 Dassault Super Mystère B1 1955 Dassault Mirage 3 1956 Ledic 022 1957 Dassault Mirage 3V 1961 Dassault Mirage IV 1964 Dassault Mirage F1 1966 Dassault Mirage 5 1967 Dassault Mirage G 1971 Dassault Breguet Super Atondard 1974 Dassault Mirage 2000 Dassault Mirage 4000 Dassault Rafale China Shenyang J6 Farmer Nanchang Q5 Fantan 1965 Chengdu J7 Fishbed 1966 Shenyang J8 1969 Nanchang J12 1970 Xian JH7 Flounder 1988 Chengdu J10 Vigorous Dragon 1998 Shenyang J11 1998 Nanchang Hongdu L15 2005 Shenyang J15 Flying Shark 2009 Chengdu J20 Stealth 2011 Shenyang J16 2012 
Shenyang J21, J31 Jerfalcon Topic: Canada Avro Canada CF105 Arrow 1958 Canada CF104 Starfighter 1961 Canada CF5 1968 Topic India HALHF24 Marut 1961 HAL Tekus 2001 Topic Germany EWRVJ101 1963 Topic Egypt Halwin Ha 300 1964 Topic Italy Air Italia F104S Starfighter 1966 Topic France United Kingdom SEPECAT Jaguar 1968 Topic Japan Mitsubishi T2 1971 Mitsubishi F1 1975 Mitsubishi F2 1995 Topic Israel IAI Nesha, nineteen seventy one IAI KFIR, nineteen seventy three IAI Levy, nineteen eighty six IAI Nama, nineteen ninety one Topic Germany, Italy, United Kingdom Panavia Tornado, 1974. Topic South Africa Atlas Cheetah, 1986. Topic Taiwan AIDCFCK1 Ching Kuo 1989 Topic Germany Italy Spain United Kingdom Eurofighter Typhoon 1994 Topic Iran Hessa Azarach, nineteen ninety seven Hessa Syakuh, two thousand and four Hessa Gaha, three hundred and thirteen, twenty eleven Topic South Korea Kai T fifty Golden Eagle, two thousand and two Topic Pakistan Pak JF seventeen Thunder, two thousand and three. Topic Supersonic Research Aircraft Bell X one, nineteen forty six, first to break the sound barrier in level flight. Rocket powered. Douglas D558 2 Skyrocket 1948 rocket powered Convair XF92 1948 first delta wing supersonic jet Republic XF91 Thunderceptor 1949 mixed power 
Bell X2 1952, rocket-powered. Convair F2YC Dart 1953, only seaplane to exceed speed of sound. SNCASO Trident 1953, French supersonic twin-engine research aircraft. Ferry Delta II 1954, first to exceed 1,000 miles per hour. Nord Gerfo 1954, French-built delta-wing supersonic research aircraft. SNCASE Shea.212 Durandal 1956, experimental French-built delta-wing supersonic fighter. Nord 1500 Griffin 1955, 1957, Griffin 1 flew in 1955, Griffin 2 flew in 1957, experimental mixed turbojet ramjet fighter. Saunders Rowe Senior 53 1957, experimental mixed-power jet fighter North American X-15 1959, first hypersonic aircraft and spaceplane. Rocket-powered. Bristol 188 1962, British supersonic research aircraft Lockheed NF-104A 1963, modified F-104 Starfighter used for training astronauts for North American X-15 and Boeing X-20 dinosaur programs. Northrop HL-10 1966, rocket-powered Martin Marietta X-24A 1969, rocket-powered Northrop M2F3 1970 rocket powered General Dynamics F16XL 1982 modified F16 delta wing test demonstrator Grumman X29 1984 McDonnell Douglas F15 STOL MTD 1988 heavily modified F15 used in several NASA test programs including STOL, MTD, Active, IFCS, Quiet Spike, SBRDC, ECANS, and HISTEC. Rockwell MBBX 31, General Dynamics F 16 Vista, modified F 16, Thrust Vector Control Demonstrator, Shaped Sonic Boom Demonstration. 2003, Spaceship Own 2003 first privately designed space plane NASA X43 2004 scramjet powered demonstrator Boeing X53 active aeroelastic wing 2006 modified F18 wing warping demonstrator was also used as the high alpha research vehicle and more recent sonic boom research Boeing X-51 Waverider 2010 scramjet powered demonstrator Lockheed Martin the 10th 59 Quest 2018 commissioned by NASA Topic See also Sound barrier